Everybody knows the situation that you have a long work week, right? It, it never seems to end. But then the weekend, right, it's over in one snap. You might think, okay, that's nice to know, but where, what do I need it for? You might need it if you can't fall asleep at night, right? If you have problems uh, adapting to a circadian rhythm, if you always uh, think, oh, the evenings I, I, I feel so awake, but then in the mornings I feel tired, right? That might be a real problem for you. So we need to understand that better. And uh, in space, with the time experiment, we get down to the bottom of how our brain perceives time by going into a, a situation where our time perception is different, it's altered. It turns out that uh, being in space, maybe by being in a closed environment, maybe by being in this special situation, maybe by being in weightlessness, we don't know yet, something changes in our brains that perceive time and space. We perceive it a little bit differently. Maybe it's located uh, in our neurovestibular system. That's of course changed because we don't know where up and down is anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By being in space, we can isolate those properties much better. One thing in our brain that's changed is the neurovestibular system. Uh, it switches over to using the optical system much better. If that uh, has an influence on how we perceive time, well, here's a clue on how we might be able to help people down on Earth.